Time again this Wednesday to see what's hot and what's not in the media world as Eric Wemple brings us Fuego Frio. Today, Eric wants to know if DC Magazine really represents DC. Stand by everyone, here's Eric. Hey G, thanks for the toss, Mojo. Great to have you around once again. Hey, mid to late afternoon cable TV is clear to the pile. Oh, Blake Gopnik, they say, hey, Blake Gopnik, the art critic for the Washington Post, did great writing about the National Portrait Gallery scandal. But hold on, he did great writing about Christmas carols. Blake Gopnik recommends 10 Christmas albums. And this is coming from a guy who's a third generation atheist and the offspring of Portuguese and Ukrainian Jews. This is a guy who's doing a recommendation for uh, Christmas carols. Awesome. These are great recommendations, including something about a countertenor, da Daniel Taylor. What a great countertenor. Anyway, Franco for the Washington Post to break up this. Next one. Speaking of Christmas, this is a Christmas school propaganda flyer here. Mary and Elizabeth talking about the Bible and all this stuff. And in the back, there's a parable about a mother talking to her child. What are they talking about? Mother says, it's okay to sort of lust after gifts as long as we remember the real for reason for Christmas. Oh, really? And then last so mother asks son, would you like to look at this catalog with me? I like to look at it too. Come on! If you're gonna do Sunday school, you can't endorse commercial craft commercialism. Free out for propaganda there. No good. Next one. Okay, full disclosure, I do not have a drama dash this week. No drama dash, no drama dash. What I do have is something better. The drama comma. Look at this. The ESPN women, sports, have power to amaze, comma, devastate, athletes, comma, fans. <laughs> what a drama comma. Sports have power to amaze, devastate, athletes, fans. Come on, too much drama. This is Summer Sanders. Summer Sanders, she's a great swimmer, but can't write to save her life. Next one. Fred Hyatt, Washington Post editorial board. Watch out, the Montgomery Co advocates after you. What do they do for opinion journalism? Look at this. Point and counterpoint. Should students have to attend classes? Ah, that's nonsense, my company advocate. You gotta come up with better opinion journalism than that. That goes on the Freo side, even though it seems to be on Fuego. Next one, Washington Women's Journal. We've been on you for months and months and months. All you do, Women's Journal, you put men on the cover. Well, at least, well, you got a man and a woman on the cover this time. A little better, but why don't you just change it to Washington People's Journal or Individual Journal? You gotta put a woman on the cover and just a woman. Just a woman, Washington Women's Journal. Free outside, there's too many men out there. There's like three men. Next one, DC Mag. This is one of those glossies, you know. DC all stylish, ooh. Now look at the woman on the cover. Is that someone you find on the streets of DC? Look at her. I did a little research, she's from New York. The hairstylist, from New York. The photographer, really cut guy, he's from LA. Come on, DC Meg. Do something that looks like DC. Put some Reeboks on her or something, come on. Fail, DC, that doesn't represent this city. Come on, represent. That's it for Fuego Frio this week.